courtesy of Pittsburgh in Johnstown. Uh, he's here to show how ordinary people can do extraordinary uh, looking things. Please welcome David Willie. Let me show you how hot this is. Okay, okay this is a wiener. Let's put this in here. Something Hillary Clinton would like to do, I bet you. Well, you... Why don't yeah, you do it, perhaps? I'll do it first. Hands in the water, shake off the excess, because you don't want it bubbling up there, and then touch the bottom of the pot. This is a conservation of energy. This is what I want you to do. Put it next to your face, pretty boy. <laughs> Let go. Right. Don't move. You're good. Don't move. You're good. I'm going to put some liquid nitrogen in here. Oh, okay. Drop this in here. When, put this in top. And we have to give it a few seconds, because it's right. going to take a few seconds. How long does it take? It'll just go on its own? It'll go on its own. Believe me, we cannot stop it now. What? Oh! oh. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, man. He's back to show us some amazing experiments with fire. Please welcome our mad scientist, David Willey. David, come on out here. You'll notice now it's not a very tall flame. No, it's not, flickering not, a little. Okay. Now, let's put a spin on it, and we get a really nice tornado going for us. Well, that, is, that, is that how a, that's how a real tornado works? What is this here? What okay, first thing yes. is we've got a couple of different gases here. We've got helium. Helium. And in this balloon, we've got sulfur hexafluoride. The thing about sulfur hexafluoride is it's extremely dense. Now, you watch. You see how fast wow. that dropped? You know helium, which is what I'm filling this balloon with? You know okay. how that makes your voice go up? Helium makes your voice go up. And that, that's because it's very, very low density. Right. Okay. Well, exactly the opposite's going to happen with that because it's a very high density. Now, now this will make my voice get deeper. Oh, see, this is usually what hit it. Good, good, good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dames en heren, hier is die mad scientist David Wiley. Yeah. Let's start with fire. He makes something burn. Oh, Gerard, jij hoopt echt dat ik sterf. Hele ja, ja, ja. Nederlandse volk van je verlost. One, two, three. three. What we must do is we're going to put some hot water in here so that this goes very quickly. Zeg het daar even alleen. Daar even alleen. Met deze bouw. Ja, ja. You pull hard, and then we come straight back. Let me show you first, yes? Okay, go ahead. Okay. And we can do that. Aus Amerika, herzlich willkommen, Professor Dave Willey. Schön, Sie hier zu haben. Weil die Kinder jetzt auslöschen mit diesem Gas. Das ist eine besondere Eigenschaft dieses Gases. Please welcome the man who knows the secrets to some of the world's most incredible physical feats. From the University of Pittsburgh, Professor David Willey. Those really are sharp nails. Right. They're from China's Shaolin Temple. Oh! We're here in David's lab at the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. Five spears holding up one man. Well, I thought we'd uh, mimic this demonstration. Here we've got five nails simulating yep. the five spears. It's not puncturing because they're equally sharing the load. When he's not busy grilling up his forearm, Professor Willie proves things like how it's really no big deal to walk on broken glass. Please welcome David Willey. 25 years of teaching physics, then all the years of learning physics. Probably picked up on some pretty different stuff. I want you to pick up a big handful of them, and I'm going to set them on fire while you're holding them in your hand. Next, this man is preparing to walk on burning hot coals. We'll tell you the secrets of science that'll protect him. Okay. And then we load the chicken. And that's a delicious looking chicken, right? It is. Actually, it's a, it's a rubber chicken. And now, you watch. Straight up. Oh, 
Oh, oh, air out here. Yeah. And what's going to happen is the slow moving air at the sides is going to push this toilet paper out. All right. Let's try. <laughs> You to sit on. I got a platform that rotates. What do I do okay. once I get this now, spinning? Hold it up like this. Bring it forwards. Oh, you sit on your stool. Sit on my stool. Okay. And turn it upside down. And you no, notice I'm what spinning. happens? If it goes one way, you have to go the other way. Press that lever there. It's going to direct you towards the bowling pins. <laughs> Let's go for a strike. Okay. Here we go. We're going to turn the water solid. <laughs> swirl it around, well. Now, do I swirl it around? I will swirl it around. <laughs> Powder. Yes. Is absorbing the water. Yes, this is now. It's getting very oh, thick, Professor. Incredibly thick. <laughs> <laughs> You took oh. a normal piece of chain. Obviously, it's not going to roll. We're almost there. All right. We'll let them roll. Oh, they went backwards first. They went backwards. So why? Yeah. It gets. It, it, why did they go backwards first? The link of the chain hit this here, and Newton's third law, action and reaction, kicked it backwards. Okay, kicked back, and then. And then finally.